The first month of sophomore year is coming to a close and I've been feeling really good about my assignments and classes, but sooner or later I may take back that statement. Winter is coming. I have a lot of finished work from my two art-related classes, and I'd really like to go through and show off my assignments. Hey hey, Jester here. You already know what I'll be doing today, and I'm really excited to show off my work. If you follow my Insta, you have already seen some of the works, but I like yapping about my art. That's why this channel was made. So let's get into it. At the beginning of the semester, we started with a ransom note project where we took magazine clippings and arranged them in a way that is visually appealing with a threat towards the person that we're ransoming. For me, it said, give us money or else your clothes will receive fiery punishment. I found a little hand in like this old vintage magazine and I thought it would be really like almost suspenseful, taunting even, and like intense if the hand is like dangling a piece of clothing above fire. For the fire, I took magazine clippings that had like that like color though that red orange yellow color and ripped them up and then arranged them in a way that would look fiery and then used an exacto knife to add some texture to the piece so for type progression um we had to make it so that the fonts that we were using, we could only use two, would have a natural progression throughout the piece. For me, I had a bold Y sort of pouring out this serif font and have it pour out throughout the page. And I put stars around so it looks like a nice nighttime scene. And I really like it. On top of that, we had to add like we had to add um, almost a diagram of different anatomy from of type so i highlighted each one in yellow with numbers on them and then at the top there's a key to show which one's which so we're doing something called a tight tips journal where we compile information that we have learned from a class and things about our projects into a 16 page book and we are and we did this and we're doing this in InDesign and InDesign is like kind of sort of hard but I had some experience with it so it's not that bad it's just a bit finicky I still don't understand like master pages and things like that but I'm trying my best so right now I only have the cover and some pages partially done. The teacher himself, he's from New York. I'm from New York as well, actually. But he's from New York, but like from the city and he's lived there for a while. And the biggest rule for New Yorkers in the city is to not take anything that like people are handing out. And the assignment was that we had to design a flyer of any sort of type, any kind of content, but make it so that it's visually appealing for a hardened New Yorker to grab it out of someone's hand. I went with a clown convention and I went with bright colors so that the bright colors attracts your eyes and then the fact that it's a clown convention makes you intrigued. I think I got a couple of grabs for that one which, by the way, we had to like act out being like New Yorkers and stuff, which was so <laughs> silly. But I got a couple of grabs for that one. And I think the person that got the most grabs, if not all, like everyone agreed was really good, was this person that made like this 3D apple design using like paper and it was gorgeous and it like opened up and was interactive. Like that was good. I really liked it. 
we had to choose a article out of the selection that he gave us and draw a piece that would be inserted into the newspaper itself with like text surrounding it. He only wanted the picture itself because he would say that the editor would edit in the picture and it wouldn't be our job. So we just drew the black and white piece. The piece, the article that I chose was about how the virtual reality office is like extremely stupid and it had this like reference to the matrix that i didn't really understand because i didn't watch the matrix but i think i think it looks good and there were some very good points made in the piece in the article and yeah i received a lot of good feedback about that one some things got changed and moved around but I just drew an uh, office worker with a headset on with wires connected to him, even though headsets don't have wires, it's supposed to be more symbolic. And he knocks over like a thing of coffee in the article. So I drew the coffee sort of spilling where we had to choose from a selection that he had picked out himself. We had to choose a Time Magazine article to draw a cover for we had to match specifications and use the sort of time magazine like the 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 typical like cover heading stuff so like the red border and the red time logo and follow just certain rules with that i chose i chose the um an article that was about global warming and how the rising heat is affecting parts of America really badly. And I wanted to highlight the fact that the sea levels, like water levels are like lower, lowering by using this mountain cliff edge that like where you can clearly see that there is a line where like this like white patch from where water used to be because I thought it was really intriguing in the article. And then in the foreground, there's a skeleton sort of laying around on a um, pool floaty of some sort. And I feel like that's just to call out how relaxed we are about the fact that we are kind of being grilled to death because of ourselves. <laughs> I'm gonna do comic creation. Right now, I had to, not right now, but so far I've had to pitch my comic concept. And the comic concept that I had was two boys that would save people from the void, from like a mirror dimension. And like the void would use people's insecurities to sort of beckon them, beckon them through the mirror and then eat, eat them and their souls in order to grow stronger and push past the boundaries of the mirror world into the real world. And two boys, Nico and Lonnie, would have to fight and save the people before they're like fully eaten and stuff. So I did some character design as well and there's the design of them in their school uniform and then a design of them in their sort of quote-unquote hero fits i can't say they're like superheroes because people don't know that the mirror dimension exists but they're heroes nico has a big head about it Lonnie's just trying to make sure nico doesn't like die that's their dynamic what i'm currently doing is tight sketches for the comic itself it's not like a full-length comic only like a couple of pages is what he wants the minimum is two but he said we can do more than two so i opted to do, i opted to do eight pieces eight comic pages so right now i finished my loose sketch over my thumbnails and then what i'm gonna do next is a tight sketch so that you can clearly see what's happening and then an addition of text as well. 
So that is everything I made in September. I can't wait to see what October is going to hit me with since I think around late October it will be midterms, which is scary to think about. Let's hope that I'll have enough energy to even post, but I'll try my best. And if you like the video, press the like button. If you find yourself watching more of my videos and you're not subscribed, you should probably subscribe. But yeah, bye bye.